right, today I'm going to show you guys how I see the fretboard when I pick up a guitar and start to write. Whether it's a riff or a solo, I'm going to give you a view inside my head of how I interpret notes and shapes and forms and patterns and everything. So, I'm going to show you how I think, and I hope you guys can pick up something from it. Check it out. Alright, before we get started, keep in mind I tuned down a whole step to D standard. This would be your E. <laughs> which is actually a D. So if you want to tune to me, go right ahead, D standard. Alright, so the way I see different shapes and patterns, I basically take the pentatonic scale and I craft around it. I use it as if it were like a center point. So if we're playing an E pentatonic, you can do it on the high end of the neck or the low one. Alright, so keep that scale in mind, that's your pentatonic, and I look at it like it's a center point. So, in front of it, you could start right here, that'd be 15, 17, 19th fret. So basically I just take and make patterns in front of or behind that pentatonic scale. And what's cool, like when you're in E, you can actually take, like I say, that center point, and you can play something in front of it or behind it. And what's cool, it's almost like an octave. So if you take this scale right here, you can do the same scale up here, or down here. And that's basically what I do. And it's, a lot of it's like three note per string kind of thing. Ooh. Then you just move up to the next scale. And you can do that all the way up the fretboard and even mimic it doing the octave on this end. So if you do this scale. do that all the way up and down and now what's cool you can take these different shapes and patterns and apply them to different keys so that was E if I take it and play it in B your pentatonic would be here so all those scales would be like this So basically, if you could take your pentatonic and apply it to different keys, finding that root note, if you're in B, you could craft around it like I was doing when it was an E. And that's pretty much how I make all my different scales and harmonies and such, like using those basic patterns. And that's one cool thing, like when, I, when it comes to making harmonies, if I have a scale like this, and I'm in B still, let's see, the harmony would be, let's see. It's like you combine the two and you get some really cool harmonies and such. But uh, basically, I just use the pentatonic as that center point and I'll make scales in front of or behind it and then I'll add like harmonies and such. And a lot of the time when I'm playing all these fast runs and such, it's just a lot of repetition. And most of it's like three note per string kind of thing. So if I'm in B, if I was to play something fast off of that,
just using them scales around that same area. So, anyway, that's the gist of what I do. And if you guys want it in further detail, if you want like tabs or something, I could try and whip those up for you. But, uh, anyway, I hope you learned something from this. And that's pretty much in a nutshell my playing as far as soloing and riffage, you know, a bit of everything. But anyway, I hope you guys gained something from this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.